Well, thank you very much for joining us in the midweek spotlight. Uh, it's a, a good time to be in the spotlight because a big four-point weekend. The, it must be great in the dressing room right now. Yeah, it's pretty positive for all the guys. I think uh, it's nice to get a couple wins against Dundee, obviously, who we haven't seen yet, and that was the first game against them. Um, and then Milton Keynes, obviously going to Milton Keynes on a seven-hour bus trip and coming out with a win is always a pretty positive thing for us. So. If I can take you back to that first game then, Dundee, it wasn't really the best of starts, was it? It's another comeback victory for the clan. Obviously, uh, people will be taking quite a lot of heart from that. This is becoming a, a character of the team, come back. Yeah, I mean, don't really want to have to do that. <laughs> but, um, I mean, sometimes it just happens. I think the first goal there was pretty lucky. I think they kind of just threw it at the net, went off one of our guys' sticks and went through Nisey's five hole. So um, you can't really, can't really get too mad about stuff like that stuff like that happens during the games and stuff like that so any time that we can come back is always a positive for us well a nice turning point was that first goal your first goal is a power play goal what are your memories of that one yeah i don't um obviously it was a nice play originally by borky to gain the line and then a nice pass by mike to mike um and then obviously mike found me with a pretty pretty nice behind the back pass so um all in all, it was a pretty nice play. Was Mike quite delighted he's behind the back pass? I saw a little curvitude of your a smile there. Did he give you? Did oh, he want a bit of praise for that? Yeah, I don't know. I think all the guys kind of think <laughs> we hang out all the time, so they don't. They think that he found me just because we were, we were attached at the hip. So um, if so, that's all right with me. Well, I see more of that. Well, another big point, as you said as well, was. Uh, uh, obviously, they got a lucky goal getting past Nisey there through the five-hole, but he more than made up for that later on with a fantastic save. I mean, a diving kind of glove save. You weren't on the ice at the time for that one, but what are your memories of that? No, I didn't. I don't even actually remember that until you showed me the video of it. So I maybe I was changing just coming on the ice or something like that, but um, that would be on a highlight reel anywhere, anywhere on TV, NHL, anywhere. So um, Nisey's been doing it for us all year, so it, we pretty much just come to expect that. So it was interesting to go from obviously a great result at the end, the team go on with a, a great a great win. But after that, we've talked about how important Ryan Nye is. But the next night, he's not there. The baby could be coming at any moment. It's yeah. just one of those things that happens in hockey. Uh, in steps Gary Russell for a big game down in Milton Keynes. It wasn't uh, easy last time you were down there, was it? No, I think we lost 5-2, I think, the first time we went down there. So we knew, we knew what they were going to come with. Um, obviously, Rusty, that's... He comes and works his, works his butt off for us all the time. Obviously, he's also a cop too, so um, for him to step in there, get a shutout, I think it was his first shutout because he wanted the puck, so um, all the credit to him for sure. Also, the team protected him really well. I think there was only 25 shots on goal. I, I was struggling to remember any of those being of any real note, though. I think, I mean, anytime you get 25 shots, though, he's still got to stop all those shots, so... Um, it was a good job by him. It was a good job by our D. We played pretty well. I think we're kind of trying to figure it out when we go on the road like that. Second game in two nights, got travel. The simpler, the better yeah. it, it is for us. So um, it was definitely a smart and simple game for us when we came out with the win. Yeah, great to see him making some big saves for you. I've been watching the team in practice today. Some big news. I saw Adam Brace out on the ice. Uh, you got to see him firsthand in training. How's he looking out there? Racer always looks good out there. I mean, he's a pretty, he's a good skater, so um, he uh, he always looks good out there. I don't know when his timeline to play is, but uh, anytime we can get a guy like that back in our lineup, it's only going to help us. He should be a, a big addition. Uh, talking about big as well, I heard that the coach was calling you Big Country out there as well. Do you want to elaborate <laughs> on where this nickname's come from, Big Country? I have no idea where it's come from, <laughs> but uh, the guys get a kick out of it and. Uh, I think it's going to stick, so I don't mind it. It's all good. <laughs> we'll try and ask. We'll ask the coach that yeah. one in his spotlight interview. Yeah. But it's all leading up good. This seems like there's a really nice chemistry. There's a really nice buzz around the dressing room at the moment. Heading into this game against Edinburgh Capitals on the Saturday, there are issues and troubles around the club are well known at the moment. What are you expecting from that team coming up this Saturday? I think it's just like any other team. You can't take a team lightly because any team can win at any point, especially in hockey. So um, they just beat Coventry, I think, on Sunday, and we've we played Coventry, and they're a good team. So maybe maybe they just needed that one win to get a little bit of confidence. So I expect them coming in here. I expect them to be confident and ready to play. Tyler, thank you very much for being in the spotlight. Perfect. Thanks Cheers a lot, guys.